I'd like to show you how to migrate a project from Final Cut Pro 7 to Adobe Premiere Pro. To import a project into Premiere from Final Cut Pro 7, you'll need to export an XML file. Let's take a tour of the project I want to migrate out of Final Cut Pro 7. In this Final Cut Pro 7 timeline, I have an opening shot of two clips and the logo flying in. The clips have a crop effect applied to them. You can see this one has a crop to the right, and the one below it has a crop to the left. Also, this shot has a speed change. Further down the timeline, there's a customized wipe that has a color and a border applied. Composite modes have been applied to some shots. This is called the screen composite mode. Down in the audio tracks, you can see that the audio levels have been adjusted and there have been audio transitions applied. I'd like to migrate the entire project. To begin, everything should be deselected in the project panel. You can do that from the edit menu by choosing deselect all. It may seem counterintuitive, but by deselecting all, the entire project will migrate. To export the XML, go to the File menu, choose Export, and then select XML. This will export all 16 bins, the 43 clips within them, and one sequence. Press OK, create a folder called XML, and save the file there. That way it'll be easy to find when you're ready to import it into Premiere Pro. Press Save to export the XML. Create a new project in Premiere. Right-click in the Project panel and choose Import. Navigate to the XML folder you created and select the XML file you exported. Click Import. You'll be notified that a translation report is being created, and that text file will be available for you in the project. The file that imports brings in all your bins and master clips and maintains the subfolder organization that was set up in Final Cut Pro 7. It also contains the cut sequence. I'll double click to load that sequence into the timeline. So far, the sequence looks good. I'll examine the first stack of clips and make sure the crop settings are still correct. I can see the keyframe animation and the settings are correct. Farther down the timeline, the wipe has transferred perfectly. I see the border width is set to 33, just like it was in Final Cut Pro 7. The border color translated too. This clip on V2 contains a composite mode. I'll go to the Effects Controls tab and check to see that it's still set to Screen. Finally, I'll zoom in and scroll down to examine the audio tracks. I can see that the audio keyframes translated. So did the audio transitions. Not everything will migrate perfectly, but the clips are where they should be and the majority of the effects translated too. I'm now ready to get back to work in Adobe Premiere Pro.